Okay, hi, I'm Dr. Tom Sweeney, and I'm with Dental Specialties West. I'd like to talk to you today about vitamin D and the impact it has on COVID-19. COVID-19 is a SARS-CoV-2 virus. It's a coronavirus and it's a single-stranded RNA. Uh, symptoms are cough, sore throat, difficulty breathing, chest pain, muscle ache, nausea, vomiting, headaches. Uh, in a study of 65 and older patients who were admitted to the hospital with COVID D, uh, they had one or if they had one or more comorbidities, they comprised 90% of the people who were actually being hospitalized. There is a correlation between vitamin D and the levels of severity for the COVID-19 people. Um, vitamin D is a hormone which is synthesized in the skin. You can also get it through supplements or your dietary intake. Um, and it functions by reducing uh, bacterial and viral ability to get into cells. Um, and that in addition to being able to modulate the immune system that we have. The antiviral effects of vitamin D are well documented for influenza and the virus that's part of COVID D is not as tenacious as that. Uh, in a study where they did 204 African American women that were postmenopausal, uh, they put them on half were the control group so they got the placebo, the other half were given 800 international units of vitamin D. Uh, in the second year, the group that was getting vitamin D, they upped it to 2,000 international units per day. In that year, that group, only one of them reported any kind of cold symptoms. In the group that was the placebo, cold symptoms were three to four times higher. Vitamin D itself has been shown to upregulate our immune system. So it actually increases our ability to defend ourselves against the, vir uh, the virus and it also has been effective in upregulating non-inflammatory cytokines so it's a protective mechanism there have been there have been researchers in 10 countries that have looked at COVID-19 and they've also looked at C reactive proteins were an indication or basically a systemic indication of inflammatory process um, and what they found is that in people with COVID-19, the C-reactive protein is inversely proportional to the levels of vitamin D. So they actually see more C-reactive protein in people who are insufficient with vitamin D levels. Um, what's happening is now the treating physicians are actually recommending increasing vitamin D levels from up to 5,000 to 10,000 I use a day. I'm Dr. Tom Sweeney. I'm Dental Specialties Northwest. Thank you for watching.